What it do, Two Time Gang? It's your boy Two Time Moto TV, and we back with another video. Hope all is well with everyone. Today we are gonna be painting these brake calibers red, and I'm gonna show y'all the quickest and easiest and best possible way to spray paint your brake calipers. We are doing this on a 2004 Crown Victoria. You guys know the project vehicle of the channel, and we are gonna be spray painting these puppies red. So as you guys can see, these orange brake calibers been painted for about 10 years. It's been holding up fairly decent. Uh, I never sprayed a clear coat on it. This is nothing but the base coat of paint and it's actually held up pretty well. But uh, today we are gonna spray paint all four of them red uh, for a accent color of the vehicle. As y'all can see that little dot on that 5 is red. Um, and then also I'm gonna have the channel name with the YouTube logo on the windshield and on the back of the car And maybe that in 30 inch Have that all of that in red because I will be going 30s uh, very soon. Hopefully uh, Yeah, but I will be showing you guys uh, the quickest and easiest way to do this and the best possible way to To uh, get everything covered with your brake calipers As you guys can see it's raining pretty heavily outside today so luckily for the new area, we got garage space. But yeah, without further ado, I'll show you guys everything y'all need. Starting off with the primer. This is optional. You really don't need it. Uh, got the red caliper spray paint. High heat. And also I got the gloss. I will be putting a gloss coat over these brakes and since uh, they will be red for a very long time, I want it to last. I also have sandpaper with a sanding block, trash bags, and painter's tape. So all of this stuff together, guys, was probably about $25 at AutoZone. So very cheap to make something look very good. So without further ado, I'll let you guys know what the first step is to get started. First thing you're going to want to do to scuff the surface if you do have existing paint or maybe just a lot of dirt and debris on your caliper and bracket is take some sandpaper, but I'm gonna be taking a sanding block with sandpaper, but you can just use sandpaper. You're gonna wanna take, you're gonna wanna hit the front, back, all around the whole brake caliper and brake caliper bracket. You're gonna wanna hit that with the sandpaper and uh, scuff it up pretty good. A good option for getting inside of the tight crevices, you guys can take a wire brush or toothbrush and just gonna wanna go back and forth inside of the tight crevices to get all of the dirt and debris out. This is an option or you can clean it with a rag, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get in there with a wire brush and any little edges and stuff like this, which I will be removing this caliper and bracket so I can clean it a lot more thoroughly, but I do wanna clean it while the caliper and bracket is on the vehicle so that it'll be stationary and not moving everywhere and I can actually put a little bit more power into cleaning it instead of it moving all around the place. As you guys can see, she is scuffed down very nice all the way around for what I can get to. So this next step is optional. If you guys have a air tank with a air hose on it that you can spray Whatever bit of debris and dirt that you have off, you know, that's just less that you got to clean and smudge on a brake caliper than you can. If not, that's okay. You guys can just take the caliper off and rub it down with some uh, isopropyl alcohol and uh, clean it up real good with a rag or uh, paper towels or towel or whatever. Uh, just make sure that you get the surface real clean. So um, I'll show you guys that step just as soon as I get done spraying this down with this uh, air hose. So as y'all can see, I removed the caliper and the bracket. Uh, the top took a 14 millimeter and this here took a 18 millimeter. So there are two bolts for each uh, for the Crown Vic owners. Um, every vehicle is different. So if you guys want to remove your calipers and your bracket, you can, that'd be the best bet to make sure that you get every surface clean, make sure that you can paint around everything besides leaving something that you really can't get to with it sitting on the car. I've seen a lot of guys on YouTube spray paint it with 
everything's still on the car. I mean, that's fine and dandy, but if you want a nice clean look, everything is painted all the way around. Even when somebody's up underneath the car doing any kind of work, they'll see that everything is done and everything is complete and wasn't just uh, half tail, you know, through. So uh, yeah, remove everything, continue to hit whatever surface that you couldn't get to with it on the car with sandpaper and clean it very good with a rag and isopropyl alcohol. And then I'll let you guys know what the next step is. So while you're letting those parts dry, you're going to want to take your trash bag and you're going to want to open them up on both sides. You can take a razor blade or whatever if you, you know, want to be perfect with your bag, you can. The only thing you got to do is rip it apart. You want to open up both sides. To look something similar to this you guys just want to keep any overspray from your suspension area and the uh, exterior of the vehicle so as you can see the caliper is alone by itself here is the brake line as you guys can see it's still connected so I don't want to get any overspray on any of that um, also you guys do not want to do this on a windy day because you will get a lot of overspray everywhere so Try to get it on a nice calm day if you guys are working outside, painting your brake calipers, or if you have a garage, then uh, you should be good to go. Last thing you guys are gonna wanna do before you start painting is tape off anything that you don't want paint on, on your calipers. Mine's are the pistons, yours should be as well. You don't wanna get too much paint caked up on there and then it starts sticking, or you having issues with your pistons uh, applying or releasing. So I just took the time, took me like 30 seconds to tape that up. And uh, yeah guys, just do it right the first time and she shall last you for a very long time. So I'll definitely be able to show you guys on this. This is the color that I'm going with. It's like a kind of dark red. But as you guys can see, that's what the picture look like. So you just wanna skim the surface, don't matter where you start. I usually start from the top and then work my way back. So don't matter if you don't cover the whole thing the first time. You just kind of want to lightly mist over it just to get it to stick. So you just want to skim across the surface. What I try to do as well, I try to switch up the angles that I'm spraying at. Instead of spraying it at one direct angle, I try to move around the caliper so that I can touch as many surfaces as possible before I do let the first coat dry. Now that's the first coat, so we're going to take about 10 to 20 minutes in between each coat to allow it to dry. Then I'm going to hit it with one more coat, and then I'm going to hit it with the clear coat. So with the surface cured and two coats of uh, paint, we will be using clear coat also from AutoZone. Everything is perfect match uh, that we're using. So you just want to do the same thing that you've done with the spray paint with the clear coat. Just want to skim the surface.
You don't really have to use much of the clear coat because you don't want that to run. You just want to give it a protective fin. And what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna let that dry. You're gonna wanna at least give that 30 minutes to an hour. I may go in between and give it like 45 minutes before I even start messing around and trying to put everything back together. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I've painted, which I can show you guys. I've painted the bracket in a box since I was able to take that off because it didn't have any brake lines or cables or anything connected to it. So anything that's loose like that, you can just take and paint it in a secure area like this and then you really don't have to worry about masking anything off. So that's that. And then we have our brake caliper over here that we're gonna let dry that we just got done putting the clear coat on. So I'll show you guys the finished product with it on the car and then I'll do the rear and uh, show you guys the finished product. 